A Pink and Na Eun have been making headlines ever since they announced their comeback, and especially once YG Entertainment said that Na Eun wouldn't be a part of it. Many speculated that she was the one who made the decision, but the truth turned out to be much different. So, who's to blame for the witch hunt on A Pink's Na Eun? A Pink debuted in 2011 with the mini album Seven Springs of A Pink. They were a bit unknown until the summer of 2013 when their third mini album, Secret Garden, brought the group their first commercial success. Title track No 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 gained a significant amount of attention and remains a classic track to this day for K-pop fans. 2014 solidified their position as a long-lasting group in K-pop with the release of Mr. Chu and the accompanying album Pink Blossom. Their success continued to go up the following years as A-Pink's international fan base grew a lot after Ung Ung, so the amount of fans excited for their comeback was even bigger than before. Then the unexpected happened. Na Eun, one of the most popular members of the group, left IST Entertainment on April 29th of 2021 to sign with YG so she could focus on her solo acting career. This brought a lot of questions regarding the group's future. Was she still a part of A Pink? Would the group promote without her? Would they lose their popularity if Na Eun wasn't a part of the group anymore? But it turns out that she was still a part of the group after all, as back in May of 2021, it was announced that A Pink will continue promoting as a six member group. Not only that, but it was also announced that A Pink was going to finally make a comeback in February of 2022. The one revealing factor that IST Entertainment highlighted in their official statement was the fact that that member Na Eun would be part of the upcoming comeback, and they said that she worked on the album with her fellow group members. Well, this promise went crumbling down very fast because on January 17th, IST Entertainment announced that Na Eun would still be part of the comeback album, but not really. They shared that to accommodate all six members in the album release, especially since it's their 10th anniversary album, they had tried to adjust everyone's schedules. Unfortunately, due to a sudden change, Na Eun would only be able to make it for the album jacket photo shoot and music video filming but she won't be present for the rest of the promotional activities. They also shared the reason for her absence, revealing that she had conflicting schedules because of the next project she was planning to take on. However, she asked for fans to send their greatest encouragement to the members. This was the first point which raised quite a few eyebrows because when the comeback was announced, neither YG nor IST Entertainment said anything about Na Eun's schedule. Due to the sudden change in plans, fans were more than confused. Plus, YG's and IST's vague statements didn't help. But instead of blaming YG for this, fans turned against Na Eun, accusing her of leaving her group behind and backstabbing the members. The fans kept on expressing their disappointment and anger every time they got the chance. Among all, a post on Panate gained much attention as a fan penned a letter saying that they can't believe there's something more important than A-Pink for Na Eun. The fan repeatedly talked about how they protected the idol when she chose to go against the group decision for solo activities, but this has been their last draw. They wrote, Even when everyone around me scolded me for liking A-Pink, we told them that we knew the sincerity of Sol Na Eun so we shielded you then too. But this time, I don't think we can shield you. The user added that they believe her current agency had a hand in it, but they also believe that she most likely agreed to the decision. They ended the post by saying, even if you were only promoting for two weeks and working for two weeks, or if you missed a couple of activities because you were busy, we would have understood. But instead, you firmly came out saying you can't. It's irresponsible and rude to the members and the agency. We are really disappointed. Though there were many rumors about why it was impossible for Na Eun to be a part of the promotion, and filming her drama at the same time, the conclusion was that it was her decision. But the speculations around Na Eun herself not wanting to be a part of the promotion could be understandable if we already didn't know how badly YG manages their artists, not just Na Eun. It would be stupid to think that Na Eun is to blame for her absence when YG is involved. But thankfully, the truth came out soon enough. Surprisingly, Dispatch was the one who pulled through. They released an article regarding the whole situation, and based on the information given to them by an insider, it was revealed that YG YG were the ones who didn't cooperate with IST Entertainment when it came to the comeback schedule. Shocker, I know. Usually in cases like Na Eun's, before agencies cast actors in anything, they usually check and work around predetermined schedules. Not YG though, as they failed to inform the drama production company of Na Eun's schedules with A Pink. Now, if YG were a company with good intentions, they would discuss the next best solution with IST Entertainment so they can find a way for Na Eun to participate in both, but they just decided to inform them that Na Eun wouldn't be a part of the promotion. This caused trouble not only for Na Eun, but for the rest of A-Pink as well, as they reportedly had to rearrange the choreo for the five members, and some tracks needed to even be re-recorded. Fans were obviously shocked by the reveal. Well, not exactly shocked, because it's not the first time YG has basically sabotaged their artists and then lied about it. The fans also criticized netizens, and even the group's own fans that started hating Na Eun without all the information, as if she was the one making this big decision. Even if she wanted to, everyone knows that it wouldn't make a big difference. 
difference. After all, when has YG ever listened to their artists? There was one more reason why the media thinks Naun wasn't part of the promotions. And this time, YG wasn't the one at fall, but A Pink's member Torong instead. Yi Jin Ho, who runs an expose on the lives of many Korean celebrities, has taken it upon himself to defend the honor of Naun after she was witch hunted for leaving A Pink out for the benefit of her solo career. First, he acknowledged that it was hard for A Pink to deal with Naun not being on stage with them. He said, Did Naun bring inconvenience to her other members with the decision to not participate in the promotions? Yes, she did. The members definitely were inconvenienced. With Naun's sudden inability to join the promotions, the group had to rearrange their choreography and re record some parts of the song. But he then shocked everyone when he revealed the real reason for Naun's absence. He said, A lot of complaints have been circulating, stating things such as, This problem only happened after Naun departed to YG Entertainment. Honestly, this is true. It becomes difficult to promote when you're under a different agency. However, in Naun's case, this isn't the only factor. According to E's investigation, it's being reported that Chodong's scandal is to be blamed for Naun's absence. The report suggests that Naun had received a lot of big scale acting gigs back in April of 2021. Around the same time, A Pink was gearing up for a new comeback schedule, and Naun, who was dedicated to A Pink, dropped all the projects only to support A Pink's comeback at the time. But even with her dedication, A Pink still had some problems of their own. More specifically, around the same time, A Pink's member Todong was accused of school, among other claims, causing a great controversy for the group, which led to a cancellation of their comeback. Due to this, Naun reportedly signed up for multiple acting projects, but since it was very recently announced that IST Entertainment prepared a new comeback for A-Pink, it was impossible for Naun to reschedule her acting projects, thus leading her to skip promotions altogether. Jin Ho said, Naun previously promised to participate in a full group A-Pink comeback and placed a big importance on A-Pink's comeback. With that said, this meant that she had to reject the many casting offers sent to her during this time. Because of Chodong's controversy, however, the comeback schedule continued to get delayed. Did YG ask her to leave the group too, though? E has an answer to that too, so rest easy. Other than linking her absence from horn promotions to Chodong's scandal, E also reported that an insider revealed that Naun was asked to leave A Pink when she joined YG Entertainment. He explained, Ever since Naun joined YG back in April 2021, there were many comments suggesting that she leave A Pink for good. However, it was reported that Naun's love and affection for A Pink was strong. So it is alleged that Naun declined the offer and proved her loyalty to A Pink as she said, How can I abandon the group that made me who I am today? I can't believe the fans ever doubted her. It's also revealed that despite having multiple schedules, Naun tried her best to be a part of A Pink's activities in the past year and is not given enough credit for her loyalty and sacrifices for the group. But even though IST Entertainment knows that Naun is not to blame for this, they have still gone out of their way to act like she doesn't exist for the horn promotions. She has been erased from all content relating to the comeback, and it has upset fans even more. They were obviously already devastated at the reveal, especially knowing just how hard Naun had worked for the comeback and how much she missed seeing her fans. A fan said, Letting A Pink have a comeback showcase without Naun? Oh, they're so sick for this. After Naun said in the January fan meet how much she misses pandas and how we'll see each other a lot this year, this is all so cruel. But even with all this mess, Naun has still shown incredible support for all the members and asked fans to support them even though she's not there. She posted on Instagram on February 17th, writing, Have you been listening to the 10th anniversary album Horn, the gift that we've been preparing for a long time? Although it's a pity we can't promote together, please show lots of love to the album we've worked hard for, as well as to the members. The situation is messy, and it looks like there was a terrible lack of communication between both agencies. There's one mystery that remains, though. Why did YG claim that Naun would take part in the comeback and that she would be available when they knew that she already had a schedule packed with other things? It looks like both agencies are just trying to put blame on the other one, and the truth might never come out. Only Naun and A Pink know what truly happened. Thanks for watching. Bye.